What do you do when there is a big plaster fiberglass goat in your studio? Well, of course you're going to have to paint it. This is a life-size goat. And even Singer is wondering, why is this in our studio, Mom? Hey, everybody. I'm Suzanne, and today we're going to paint a goat. <laughs> and this goat is a plaster and fiberglass three-dimensional beast. And it was for our goat festival, greatest of all time goat festival here in Kingsport, Tennessee. And as you'll see through this video, this basically 10 artists were asked to paint these fiberglass goats for this festival. And these goats are gonna travel all over our city and they'll be in different locations here and about all over here. And um, it's just something wonderful. This. This goat festival, and it opened up on April 21st, was the unveiling of the goats. And it was a wonderful weekend. It was a long weekend. It was an art festival, basically. And they brought in all kinds of artists from all over uh, the, the, this region. And so there were artists, jewelry makers, um, leather workers, uh, you name it. There was all kinds of wonderful art gathered at our farmer's market. And... So that's what this little goat's about. Now, folks, if you don't know what I had done once before, I have painted fiber, you know, the um, wooden carousel animals. Uh, our Kingsport has a wonderful project. It was the Kingsport carousel, carousel project that I was involved with for over six years. And I was the artist who taught the other artists how to paint carousel animals. And what was wonderful was painting this goat, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you her picture. That's Minerva. That's what I named her. Minerva, it was, it was reminiscent of painting the animals on our carousel. So sit back uh, and, and watch this time-lapse video of me painting Minerva. And it was a, it was a really fun project. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's jump into the painting of Minerva the goat. I started by just taking a very large, just like the kind of brush you would use uh, for painting a house, and did this light overall kind of base coat down on this goat. I have an image in my mind of, as to what I want my goat to look like. So I'm just putting down this first coat of paint. Trust me, there's gonna be layers upon layers upon layers. This is just Liquitex acrylic paint. It's the same paint we used on our carousel animals and it's also the same kind of paint that I generally use when I do mural work. The Liquitex um, Basics is, is a great mixture of paint actually. So this is basically what I want my go to look like and so yep got to get in here and do all the fine painting and all the details. I started on this stuff so you can you kind of have a concept of how much um, paint how many layers of paint are going into this so I have that basic base coat down and then I just kind of keep layering it up. Now I did enlist the help of my very sweet dear friend uh, Reeves and she came in to help and so she's painting legs for me and yeah so there's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot that has to be done. This goat I received this goat at the end of January and um, actually didn't get started on to on the actual project until I got back from a trip so it's it's February here and uh, this was due to be completed by April the 6th that seems like a lot of time right but when you're trying to do something like this in between your other projects it's uh, <laughs> it weighs on you
my goat is coming alive. I swear. Sometimes I think I can almost hear her. <laughs> now, my uh, you can see that I'm leaving some blank areas. And I know I'm putting a wreath of flowers around my goat's neck. And she's going to be having a saddlebag with books in it. Now, every goat had a sponsor. And my sponsors were some professors at East Tennessee State University. And my goat also got picked up as a part of a permanent collection for the Kingsport City Library. So you see, mine has a reading and books kind of theme going with it. So he's going to, or she's going to have a uh, kind of a saddlebag full of books. So you can see I'm just kind of blocking in where the saddlebag's going to go and where the books are going to go. And I'm just kind of moving around this goat. I still want to kind of have her underneath or her fur, the body of the goat, almost completed, eh, almost completed, before I start into the detail of the books and the, all, the, all that good stuff. So that's what you see me doing here. As a goat painter, we were basically all sworn to secrecy. We were not to share any pictures of the development of our, you know, painting of our goats, any of the progress, any of it. It all had to be uh, on the down low, so to speak, simply because they were going to be selling tickets for the big reveal party on the 21st of April. So it was killing me that I could not post this, I could not show this. And basically had to kind of keep it under wraps the whole time I was creating this goat. Funny, right? Because I'm always posting everything, whether on social media, and everybody knows that. So this was really a tough one to, for me to keep secret. So sometimes I'm painting oats hard to explain. I can't really show you the whole thing yet, but yeah, there's days when I'm actually just painting goats. You just never know what's going to be happening here at the studio. I can show you.
Senhor. What you guys can't see is oftentimes when I'm painting, I have this attached to my hip. He will come over, either punch me from behind, he's got to stand on me, touch me. Sometimes a little snoot comes in between the legs and he's over there rubbing his face on me. So this is one of those secret behind the scene things that happens. It's a singer and he comes in. Don't just sing. See, he listens to what I say. See, yeah, he gives you that adorable little head tilt because he likes to, he's always touching me. There's always something touching me. And that's my boy. Yeah, singer. Sometimes I have to straddle a poodle. He gets right between my legs and he'll push his face between me and make the most adorable face. And I'm just trying to just uh, finish these little uh, rose buds and flowers are, that are going on my little uh, goat here. Which I wish you'll, this will be a, its own video uh, coming up. But yeah, so this is happening. But almost always, there's this guy who's never far behind. Are you, singer? It's your mama scoop away, aren't you? Now, you can see there's balloons in the background and flowers because it was my birthday. So, you know, my birthday is March 23rd. So, I have probably been working on this goat off and on for about a month. My mother and my brother came to visit and they decided, hey, let's go out to eat. So I pretty much stopped this day at this point and said, opening cards and having fun. So you could see, new shirt, new day. And <clears throat> I'm working on the details on the books. And because this is for the library, um, eventually this will become part of the Kingsport City Library's permanent collection. Uh, I wanted to put titles on all the books. I didn't want them to just be generic books. And me being somewhat of a rebel, a lot of the books, or at least two of the books, are on what is called the banned book list. So picking the titles for the books was kind of fun too. But first, I must do all the detail of the books to make them somewhat three-dimensional and uh, do all the proper shadowing and shading before I actually paint the titles on.
I've got to put the detail into the saddlebag. Since I basically have the titles on my books now, now I've got to work my way out of that saddlebag. So I've got to put some detail in there. So there's little stitches and little raised areas on the leather and recessed areas. So what's kind of hard to pick up here is that the saddlebag itself is not the blackest black. It's kind of a light black. And then I use the blackest black for the indentations of the leather and then a slightly lighter gray um, or lighter black, if you will, to make the puckers for that are created by the stitches. So this is all a matter of just playing with value. And I'm using a, uh, a liner brush here to do some of the finer detail. To make the little rivets um, of the uh, saddlebag look like metal, I first painted them kind of a, a rich bronzy orange color and then a slightly yellower orange or yellow on top. And what's hard to see here is I actually have metallic paint, gold metallic paint, or I guess it was a bronze. It doesn't really come out looking that way in this video, but that's really what it was. It, and so there is some metallic paint that is being used here. Now, I wanted to go ahead and put some quotes by authors on the, um, the saddlebags. And you can see the titles of the books that I chose here. I had Tale of Two Cities, Little Women, and um, The Color Purple. And of course, The Color Purple is on the band book list. And you'll see on the other, on the other side of the saddlebag is an entirely different um, book titles and different quotes. And uh, so here's a little closer look at the quote the, and the flowers, because we're really getting close to the end on this, guys. I'm about ready to wrap it up. Um, for me, thinking that I just really had to do the stitch work and the details in the saddlebag is kind of where I wrapped it up. And then I just kind of look over my goat <laughs> a little bit to see if there's any other little areas that I might be missing. And that might be creating shadows under the flowers, etc. Of course, I've got To Kill a Mockingbird, and Little Women and Curious George are my books in the in that side. Well, I am finished. I have got my goat all worked up here. Uh, I've named her Minerva, and she is, uh, Minerva is the name, it's like Athena. It's the Roman goddess of uh, learning, education, and patron of the arts. So I thought, what more perfect name for a goat than Minerva? And uh, so you can see I've got her, just got a satchel of books here and I included some of the uh, band book lists you know color purple little women tale of two cities and on the other side I have um, curious George uh, goes to the library I have um, sense and sensibility and to kill a mockingbird another one of the band books um, I've also included um, some um, quotes this by Mary Schmidt um, who says, Schmidt, reading is a discount ticket to everywhere. And on the other side, it's a, uh, hmm, what is it? It's a Dr. Seuss quote. And I figured it was good to go ahead and include some quotes on the saddlebag. And uh, yeah, um, I'm glad she's done. <laughs> and she's getting picked up tomorrow, which is another good thing. So I'll have finally more space in my studio to do my other work that I should be doing as well so it took a little longer than i anticipated but i only worked on her when i really had time to work on her so i really can't complain um, my friend reeves did help me initially with some of the paint on the legs the first day and i was so glad to have reeves be a part of this project with me um but yeah she's done and i'm glad <laughs> Just come on over here.
just get a little closer to the Minerva. Because I, I named her Minerva. Now I'm sure. That's my pup's name. Oh, well, it's, it's the Roman, so you already know, she's the Roman goddess of education and learning and the patron of the arts. Excellent. So I thought, how perfect, how perfect a name for a goat. You know? I love it. But uh, how many artists do you have? That we have 10 artists. Okay. Not all of them are professional. Some of them are professionals. Um, we've already got five of them at the care center. Oh, wow. Studio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got two more, possibly three coming in today. One of them was if you have whether they were going to be able to drop it off today or not. Um, but then, so we'll have two more that I expect to get the earliest side of next week. Awesome. So it's wrapping up and it's exciting to see them all come So it's ten total. ten total. Ten total. Ten total. So this is one of ten. So I, I know mine, of course, I know Stephen and I know Jesse. Is there any other locals that we that I would know? I'm just curious. Joe May. Oh, good. Jo oh, Joe's is going to be so cool. It's gorgeous. Anything Joe does is like really cool. It is gorgeous. Okay, yeah. who was his sponsor? He was his sponsor. Oh, so this is going to be like the most fabulous looking one because yes. I know he's he's got like all the good like airbrushing tools yes. and fantastic. I mean, it turned out beautiful. Oh, man. I would like to, I can't wait to see it. Yes. So, the, so the, the, the Goat Festival reveal is the 21st yes. of April. And uh, so that would be the opportunity for everybody to come in and see all the goats. Yes. And um, awesome, awesome, awesome. And then they'll be on display where? They're going to start at the farmer's market. Right. And they'll be at the farmer's market for like the opening week of the farmer's market. And then they're going to make a tour around town making stops at places like Allendale, Bays Mountain. Oh, wow. Um, is it the herd of goats? It'll be the herd of oh. goats. <laughs> okay. Making appearances around town, and then that tour will conclude at Fun Fest in the parade. Oh, how fun! Oh, I, see, I had no idea. Yeah, okay. so they'll parade in the uh, at Fun Fest, and then after that, if the sponsors are donating them to the city, then they will have the opportunity, we'll have a, a permanent location for them. Several of the sponsors, though, have said that they are considering keeping it because they want to put it in their business. Right, so, right, right. I know that the folks that sponsored mine said she was going to go to the library. library. Yes. So I did include some fun, because I asked them, I said, what do you want? Is there any writing you want? Is there anything that's, you know, particular to, you know, at first, they, they had that little catchphrase, and then I, they kind of kiboshed that. Yeah. You know, we talked about that. And then um, we talked about the books, and um, of course, I put some of the band books on there. So Color Purple is on there, Kill Mockingbird's on there. And, the, and I asked them, I said, I have two books available. Is there any particular book that you want that right. would go either in the pink or the yellow? And they had a book that was um, The Doll Maker that would have been beautiful had they given it to me ahead of time, but the art for the book would have been completely hidden by this other book, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, that would have been nice. So Curious George is perfect for the yellow. Well, that's what I thought, and I said, well, I was gonna put Curious George because I felt like I had two of the band books. Of course, I wanted to mix it up on the authors to have men, women, and people of color, and then also, um, a child classic. classic. Yes. So I thought since this is going to be at the library, so there is a Dr. Seuss quote on this side. Uh, you can find magic where you look, sit, relax. Um, it's in a book or something like that. That's a Dr. Seuss quote. And then um, this is Mary Schmidt, which is, I thought this was nice too. Reading is a discount ticket to everywhere. Oh, so, wow. yeah, I'm, I'm excited. This is going to be fun. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing all the goats out. I can't wait to see Joe's. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't he wait to see Joe's. I, his, his, everything he does, like, I'm a very straightforward artist. I paint what I, you know, mm -hmm. but he has a broader vision. Like, his mm -hmm. colors, his, the ideas that he comes up with mm -hmm. are really broad. And I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, to yeah. See yeah. When, when his wife came to drop it off, it's like he opened the trunk and I was like, oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. And is he keeping his since he sponsored his? He has not said yet. So, okay. Mm -hmm. I'd be curious. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. And I hope that they can actually, since they have these little things on them, that they can actually be um, secured they will. to the concrete or whatever if you put it We're out. We're going to have like a mount for them um, for in case they are going to be 
touring around somewhere that um, they can't be secured down. So they'll have something that they will, like a pistol. So if somebody doesn't steal, That's right. steal a goat? Yeah. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> it's always an you opportunity. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might try to steal it. I know, right? It's like, <laughs> man, this one's gorgeous. I know, right? I don't, this I, don't I don't know. I kind of want to see Joe's. I can't wait to see Joe's. And I'm sure all the other artists have yeah. fabulous, interesting yes. pieces. So yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing them all. Yeah. yeah. All right. We haven't been disappointed so far. So. Oh, good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Because, you know, I know initially, like even um, Josh, who was my sponsor, said, do you have any, you know, can you do a drawing, like an idea, concept drawing? And I'm like, it's going to be a goat. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna have a backpack. I mean, I didn't give him a. I didn't do that. Right. <clears throat> I said, just trust me. I'll we'll get it done. It'll be okay. And yeah. you know, and I, I hope that other people were better at doing that than I was. I just, <clears throat> I was under the gun with a lot of other stuff, and I just couldn't yeah. give him concept drawings. No, and I think that some people have kind of changed up as they went to because a, a lot of our artists, as we said, even Same if you're said. a professional artist, you're <laughs> confronted with a goat, right. a three-dimensional goat, right. is a little different. This right. is a different kind of canvas. Right. So it, it has been different, but I think that they all looked really pretty. Good. Did you have more than just Jesse and I as carousel painters involved? Because I always thought this is just this is just like carousel painting. So we invited a few, a few more. I thought Patty would have jumped on it for but, sure, but she's busy with all the red babies and stuff. Right. Well, we also we invited Debbie, and there were a couple other people that we had invited um, to be on the list. And some of the um, sponsors had somebody in mind already when they came in. Got it. So um, got it. Like a couple of business people, their their daughters happened to be art students right so it's like hey we're gonna let our daughter do this okay right. great all you know it's great to get something out there yeah so. well she's all ready to go i i was like i'm so i mean she's been great don't get me wrong but i'm, I'm my small space in here i'm looking forward Dude, to having her just go right out there i understand right in that door i had like eight in my office at one point and so you were like let's get these go yes. out of the out of the office it was like when i got my floor space back i was like oh my it's a yoga studio. <laughs> it's yeah. got all these things. I can roll around on the floor. You can do that. <laughs> I, mean, I can lay here. I can do this. I can do that. I can make this or that. Yeah, I'm sure. Now you'll have them all in the farmer's market. So And so they get sprayed, right? Yeah, I'm going to, um, the ones, I'm talking to an Arcam um, rep, rep to get a good seal on them all. So. Okay. Because somebody else asked me that. I said, well, I know that they're going to get them back. And I guess I was telling Steve, and I said, well, they'll need to get them. I don't know if they're going to do them all at once. Some people seal them, you oh. know, put like a varnish on them and, oh. you know, seal them. And some people did it. So we're working with whatever. Okay, there's nothing other yeah. than acrylic paint on this sucker. All so, right. um, yeah, she'll need a good seal. And especially, I don't know if the library isn't planning on keeping it inside the library, which right. I would recommend if they want longevity, since this is what basically plaster and fiberglass. Right. Mm -hmm. So if they want longevity, they need to keep it inside. But at least the varnish will help while it's on tour and busy. Yeah, sure. Places, so. mm -hmm. There you go. All right. All right, Minerva. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Door. If you can get the door yeah. and watch the door. Uh, he's not going to this this month. He knows better. He knows better. on the 21st when we go see them with all the other artists uh, goats. I'm looking forward to that day. That's going to be a cool day because um, like I said, I, you, you could hear my excitement when I found out that Joe May, who's a local tattoo artist, amazing work, did a goat. It's going to be fabulous. I know that. And I, you know, I just knew a few of the people. So it's going to, they said they weren't disappointed with any of the goats. So it'll be really fun to see what we got. The Goat Festival was such a fun event. It was full of arts and crafts and food and wine and all the good stuff. And it was a very wonderful arts event. Here you see all the 10 goats all together. And, you know, it was neat to see the individuality. It was also cool to have Minerva be um, displayed at the Kingsport Carousel. Now the goats are lined up and getting ready to travel. 
And they ended up, first stop, they were going to be at the Allendale Mansion here in front of the barn. I loved my little goat. And it's good that she has a good spot and I'll get to see her around town in our area. This was a very, very fun project. So, I guess you bet you never thought you'd be sitting here watching a video on painting a goat. So, you kind of got a gist of the whole, the whole project. It was really fun. And there was 10 other goats that were at the festival and all of them were uniquely and wonderfully painted by 10 different artists. And it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. You know, I, I, I loved my time uh, painting for the Kingsport Carousel. And this just kind of brought back some of those wonderful fun memories. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, till the next video, I'll catch you from Kingsport, Tennessee.